गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फाइव आई एम श्योर स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ऑफ यू आर फिट एंड फाइन स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज स्टे इन योर होम्स एंड बी हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी दोज ऑफ यू वर हैविंग ग्रामर बुक्स प्लीज टेक आउट योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर बुक्स स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज टेक आउट योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर बुक्स and turn to page number 33 turn to page number 33 students today i will be explaining unit 8 nouns gender i will be explaining page number 33 unit 8 nouns gender please turn page number 33 of your english grammar book students today we will revise feminine masculine common and neuter gender we have already studied about them in class 4 and today we will learn how to change the gender of a noun and use correct pronoun according to the gender now students first of all let's revise gender what is gender gender is a term used to differentiate between male and female nouns gender is a term used to differentiate between male and female nouns and we use the pronoun he for masculine genders and she for feminine genders there are four types of gender masculine gender used for all men boys male animals whereas feminine gender they are used for women girls and female animals and common genders are the nouns that can refer to both male and female for example teacher teacher can be a male person also and a female person also baby a baby can be a small boy also or a small girl also so generally all the occupations they are in common gender and the fourth type of gender is students neuter gender a noun that refers to a thing that is neither a male nor female is of the neuter gender for example pillow table fan chair these are all neuter gender all common nouns that refer to non living things are of neuter gender all common nouns which are non living they all refer to neuter gender and remember students for neuter gender we always use the pronoun it for masculine we'll be using he for feminine we'll be using she he his uh, him for masculine whereas she her for feminine gender and then for neuter gender will be always using the pronoun it so there are four types of gender students masculine gender feminine gender common gender and neuter gender masculine gender is for males boys men feminine gender for all females women girls and animals of female gender whereas common gender is mostly referred with occupations and neuter gender refers to all the common nouns that are of non living things they are neither male nor female whereas a common gender can be a male or a female now students four genders you all are aware let's read the 
sentence carefully. First sentence. My father met my teacher and saw my certificates. Students, in this, there are three nouns. Father, teacher and certificates. Now, father refers to a male person, so it's a masculine gender. Teacher can be sir or madam, male or female, so it's common gender. Whereas certificates, they are neither male nor female, non-living things. So, they come under the neuter gender. Three words in the sentence, three nouns. Father, teacher and certificates. Father, masculine gender. Teacher, common gender. And certificates, neuter gender. The second sentence is, she is a great artist. Look at her paintings. Students, over here, she is a pronoun. But then it is used for feminine. So we put it in the feminine column. Gender of the feminine column. Artists, now students, artists can be a male or a female. Any person can be an artist. So it will come in common gender. Whereas paintings, they are neuter gender. Why? Because non-living objects. So three nouns. Uh, sorry, two nouns and one pronoun in sentence number two. She is a pronoun used for feminine gender. So, it will come in feminine gender column. Artist is in occupation which can uh, both be a male or a female. So, it will come in common gender. Whereas paintings, non-living things. So, it will come in neuter gender. Now, the third sentence is, he went to see the castle where the Tsar and Tsarina lived. Now, pronoun, he is there and Tsar. Uh, Tsar is uh, the rulers especially of Russia are known as Tsar and the queen of Russia are known as Tsarina. So, he and Tsar, they will come in masculine gender because they refer to the male gender. And Tsarina refers to a woman, so it will come in feminine gender. Whereas castle, it's a building, non-living thing. So it will come in neuter gender. So he is a pronoun and three nouns are there. Zar, masculine gender. Zarina, feminine gender. And castle is neuter gender. Now, let's look at the fourth sentence. The fourth sentence is, students, the wizard turned the door rabbit into a ball. Over here, wizard, first noun is wizard, then door rabbit and ball. There are three nouns in this sentence. Wizard refers to a male person, so it's masculine gender and the feminine gender of wizard is witch. So, ma wizard, masculine gender, door rabbit, feminine gender, it refers to the female rabbit and ball is a non-living object, so it will come in the column of neuter gender. So, three nouns, wizard, masculine gender, door rabbit, feminine gender and ball, neuter gender. Now, Sentence number five. My friends take care of their maid servants and give their sons and daughter books to read. Okay, over here, friends, one noun, maid servant, second noun, sons, third noun, for daughters and books. These are five nouns in the sentence students. So, friends can be boys and girls both. So, it will come in common gender. Maid servant refers to female, so they will come in feminine gender. Sons refers again to male, so will come in masculine genders. Daughters again used for feminine gender, so will come in feminine gender. And books are non-living objects, so they will come in neuter gender. I hope 
This is clear to you students. Now let's read the definition with examples. Masculine gender. A noun that denotes a male is said to be of the masculine gender. As explained earlier, a noun which denotes a male can be a boy, a man, like for example, father, brother, grandfather. These are all masculine examples of masculine gender. Now, another example is given in the book are hero, hare, monk, buck. So, these are all examples of masculine gender which refers to males or animals who are male. Second is about feminine gender. A noun that denotes a female is said to be in feminine gender. Noun which refers to all women, girls and animals of feminine gender. So all female animals. So nouns which refers to female are of feminine gender. Example can be mother, sister, grandmother, heroine, heiress, nun, doe, priestess and many more. Now fourth noun, third noun is common gender. A noun that stands for either male or female is said to be a, of common gender. For example, student. A student can be a girl, it can be a boy. Both student can be a boy or a girl. Students refers to both boy and girl, so common gender. Teacher can be a lady or a man, so refers both to male and female. So common gender can either be a male or a female. Generally students, all the occupations, they come under common gender. Example, students, pupil, artist, cousin, bird, friends, teacher. These are all examples of common gender. Now the fourth noun is of neuter gender. A noun that names a non-living things. Jitti bhi beta non-living cheeje hain, they will all come in neuter gender. Example, table, table, leaf, paper, phone, etc. These are all non-living things. So they will come in neuter gender. Once again, I am explaining what are gender. Gender is a term used to differentiate between a male and female. There are four types of genders. Masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender and neuter gender. Masculine denotes all male. That is boy, men, male animals. Whereas feminine gender denotes all the females. Can be a girl. Women, all female animals, they will come under feminine gender. Common gender refers both to male and female. And generally, all the occupations, they come in common gender. Whereas the fourth type of gender is neuter gender, in which all non-living things, all non-living things are of neuter gender. They are neither male nor female. Now, students. We will do the exercises. Now students are first exercises. Read these words and put them in the correct column given below. The first word is called which shoes cousin house duke doctor milkmaid pupil widow cook pen empress waitress watch bachelor guest host road widower now we need to put these words in different gender they fall under which gender now let's start with the first word cult cult is the male baby horse. So it will come in masculine gender. Which you all know which. You must have heard the story about which on a broom. A woman who has got that supernatural powers. Who performs black magic. She is a witch. 
so which comes in feminine gender now shoes they are man made things non living things so they'll come in neuter gender fourth word is cousin cousin can be a boy can be a girl cousin can be refer to both your brother cousin brother cousin sister so it will come in neuter gender then comes house house again a non living object will come in neuter gender duke refers to a male duke of so and so place so duke will come in masculine gender now comes doctor doctor is an occupation so doctor can both it doctor can be a male or a female so it will come in common gender then milkmaid milkmaid a lady who sells milk so refers to a female so it will come in feminine gender pupil pupil means student student can be a boy or a girl so common gender widow widow refers to a woman who has lost her husband so widow will come in feminine gender then cook a lady can be a cook a man can be a cook it's a common gender occupation so common gender then pen a non living thing so neuter gender then empress empress the feminine gender of emperor isn't it so empress refers to female so it will come in feminine gender waitress a lady who serves food in a restaurant or a hotel so waitress again will come in feminine gender watch non living object will come in neuter gender bachelor bachelor student is a man who is not married a young man who is not married so bachelor will come in masculine gender guest guest can be a man or a woman so common gender host host is a person who welcomes you to his house or who has organized a party or something like that so host can be a male or a female so common gender road students road neuter gender man made thing non living thing so road will come in neuter gender then widower widower is a man who has lost his wife so widower comes with masculine gender now students our next exercise is this uh, i would say please learn write learn on top of this exercise so that you come to know about the masculine and feminine gender of certain nouns please write learn you need to learn the pairs students you need to learn the pairs now first one is there are what we have to do in the exercise students complete the table of masculine and feminine nouns by choosing the words from the help box okay the words are hen knees drake you lass billy goat duke saleswoman dog waiter stag groom filly goose earl father in law now let's start with the first one now student the first one is stag stag refers to a male deer and the feminine of stag is hind stag hind second duke the feminine gender of duke is duchess duke duchess and students you need to learn in both ways it, it can also be like write the masculine gender of duchess so you need to write duke so you should learn in both ways duke duchess and duchess duke so you need to remember so that's the reason i told you to write learn on top of this exercise so that you learn the pairs then rooster rooster refers to a male cock so rooster hen hen rooster then buck again a male deer stag is the one with big antlers and buck 
again a female deer is known as doe then drake the male duck is known as drake and the female is known as duck then colt is the male baby horse and filly is the female baby horse now the seventh one is billy goat and the feminine is nanny goat billy goat nanny goat billy goat is the male goat and nanny goat is the female goat then eight is gander a bird and the female is goose and the plural of goose uh, gander goose is geese so don't get confused student a flock of geese we say but don't get confused gander refers to masculine gender male bird ge goose female bird and geese is the plural of goose so don't get confused ninth one is groom a person who's decked up who's getting married and the feminine gender of groom is bride in hindi we call dulhan dulha dulhan so groom feminine gender is bride then 10th father in law and mother in law the feminine gender of father in law is mother in law then 11th is lad lad is used for a man so the female of lad is lass but this word is used in an informal language so lad less less lad lad less 12th word is earl earl and the feminine gender of earl is countess earl countess 13th word is waiter waiter waitress waitress waiter waiter waitress then 14th word is nephew nephew niece niece nephew nephew niece then 15th word is salesman and the feminine gender of salesman is sales woman salesman saleswoman saleswoman salesman 16th word is ram ram eve ram eve so students please learn these pairs now we we'll once again read the pairs stag hind stag hind duke duchess duke duchess rooster hen rooster hen buck doe buck doe drake duck duck drake colt filly filly colt billy goat nanny goat nanny goat billy goat gander goose goose gander groom bride bride groom groom bride father in law mother in law mother in law father in law lad less less lad earl countess countess earl waiter waitress waitress waiter nephew niece niece nephew salesman saleswoman saleswoman salesman ram eve ram eve eve ram so please learn these pairs now students the next exercises rewrite the following sentences after changing the gender of the underlined noun now students in this sentence certain nouns are underlined and we need to write the change gender let's start with the first one the hunters attack the he bear and vixen the hunters attack the he bears and vixen so students the feminine gender of hunters will be huntresses because hunter is in plural so the feminine gender of hunter is huntresses h u n t r e s s e s huntresses attack the she bear 
and the feminine gender of he bear will be she bear and vixen and the masculine gender of vixen will be fox so the huntress is attacked the she bear and fox so you need to change the three gender of the three nouns given in the sentence hunters will change into huntresses he bear will change into she bears and vixen will change into fox so you need to rewrite the sentences with the change genders so please write the sentence as the huntresses attack the she bear and fox clear now let's move to the second sentence the washerman saved the son of a priestess now we need to change the gender of washerman so the feminine gender of washerman is washerwoman so the washerwoman saved the son what is the feminine gender of son daughter daughter and what is the masculine gender of priestess priest so the washerwoman saved the daughter of a priest so the sentence will be the washerwoman saved the daughter of a priest you need to rewrite the sentences with the change gender you write to you must write the sentences with the opposite gender of the underlined word so the washerwoman saved the daughter of a priest now the third sentence the drake the drake was feeding its duckling so the feminine gender of drake will be duck so the duck was feeding its duckling and for changing these genders you need to learn the pairs you must remember the feminine and masculine genders the pair of feminine and masculine genders and unless you learn them you will not be able to solve so the duck was feeding its duckling so the drake feminine gender of drake is duck uh, the duck was feeding its ducklings the duck was feeding its ducklings now the fourth sentence is the farmer had a colt and he goat the farmer is a common noun so common gender so we need to change colt and he goat so for colt what is the feminine gender of colt filly and what is the feminine gender of he goat goat the farmer had a filly and a goat the farmer had a filly and a goat you can also write she goat but goat is appropriate the farmer has a filly and a goat the farmer has a filly and a goat now the fifth one the wizard turned the boy into a dora bed okay now let's change the gender of wizard the feminine gender of wizard is witch the feminine gender of wizard is witch the witch turned the what is the feminine gender of boy girl the witch turned the girl into a what is the masculine gender of do rabbit buck rabbit the witch turned the girl into a buck rabbit the witch turned the girl into a buck rabbit again i'm repeating students the witch turned the girl into a buck rabbit now let's move to the next page students six the headmaster call my mother to talk about my progress now what is the feminine gender of headmaster students headmistress the spelling is h e a d m i s t r e double s h e a d m i s t r e double s the headmistress call my mother what will be the masculine gender of mother students father the headmistress call my father 
to talk about my progress. The headmistress called my father to talk about my progress. Now the next sentence. The emperor and his manservant went for a walk. Now we need to change the gender of emperor and his maidservant students. Now have a look. The feminine gender of emperor is empress. The spelling is E M P R E W -E S. E M P R E W -E S. The empress and his. Now, students, we need to change the pronoun also. Instead of his is used for male. So, while changing it into a feminine gender, the pronoun will also change. The empress and her. We will replace his with her. His has to be replaced with her. The empress and her manservant. What is the feminine gender of manservant? Maid servant. M A I D maid. And servant spelling will remain the same. Instead of M A N, you need to substitute M A I D. The empress and her maid servant went for a walk. The empress. And her maidservant went for a walk. So please remember when you change the gender of the noun, the pronoun will also change. The empress and her maidservant went for a walk. Now students, the eighth sentence. The prince was riding his horse. We need to, we need to change the gender of prince and his horse. Again, students, what is the feminine gender of prince? Princess. The princess was riding. Now, students, there's again a pronoun over here, his. Again, replace it with her because we need, we'll be writing the feminine gender of horse as maid. So, it will be the prince, the princess was riding her Maid. The princess was riding her maid. The princess was riding her maid. His will change into her and horse will, the feminine gender of horse is maid. The princess was riding her maid. The princess was riding her maid. Remember, to change the pronoun also. In the sentence, if you are changing the gender, you need to change the pronoun also. Next, my nephew is a schoolmaster. The feminine gender of nephew is niece. And the spelling of niece is N-I-E-C-E. -E. The spelling of niece is N-I-E-C-E. -E. The feminine gender of nephew is niece. So, my niece is a school mistress school masters the spelling of school will remain same but masters feminine gender is mistress so it will become m i s t r e double -S, s so my niece is a school mistress spelling of school will remain the same students so my niece is a school mistress now the 10th one the landlady asked the milkman to bring milk. Now, students, the feminine gender, sorry, the masculine gender, landlady is the feminine gender, and the masculine gender of landlady is landlord. So, the landlord asked the milkman. The feminine gender of milkman is milkmaid. Spelling of milkmaid, M-I-L-K-M-A-I-D. The landlord asked the milkmaid to bring milk. The landlord asked the milkmaid to bring milk. The landlord asked the milkmaid to bring milk. Then, students, the 11th one. His stepfather was a gentleman. Now, stepfather's feminine gender will be stepmother. Stepfather's feminine gender is stepmother. And the feminine gender of gentleman is lady. So his stepmother was a lady. His stepmother was a lady. 
the feminine gender of stepfather is stepmother and the feminine gender of gentleman is lady so the sentence will be his stepmother was a lady his stepmother was a lady now the 12th sentence the bridegroom was receiving the guest now student guest is common noun so we need not common gender sorry so we need not change it we need to change the bridegroom so we'll remove the groom from the word bride because the feminine gender of bridegroom is bride so just remove the word groom from the word bride so it will be the bride was receiving the guest the bridegroom dulha bride dulhan to bridegroom me se aapko groom word ko hata dena hai to wo dulhan ban jayega is that clear uska opposite gender dulhan ho jayega the bride was receiving the guest now students the tip of the day is most of the nouns denoting occupations as i said all the occupations it can be artist author dancer editor engineer lawyer musician novelist principal scientist minister teacher they all are common genders they all denote all the occupations denote common gender and in general if we talk about anyone so we don't say for example deepika is an eminent actor we don't say actress when we use the common gender we use the word which is written in common gender only we don't use the uh, feminine gender in it so please keep in mind all the nouns denoting occupations they are all of common gender and all the non living things they come under they denote the neuter gender now students error finding this is a very interesting exercise but students when you do this in the book try to write the complete sentence now error finding he is a witch now students the word witch refers denotes a feminine gender so we cannot use he with it so we can write she is a witch or you can also write if you want to change the word witch so you can write he is a wizard if you are using the word he तो आप विच को विजर्ड से चेंज करेंगे लेकिन अगर आप विच को रखना चाहते हैं तो आपको प्रोनाउन चेंज करना होगा विच के साथ शी लगेगा विजर्ड के साथ ही लगेगा सो दिस सेंटेंस कैन बी रिटर्न इन टू वेज इधर ही इज अ विजर्ड और शी इज अ विच स्टूडेंट्स इस सेंटेंस को हम टू तरह से दे कैन बी टू मेथड्स ऑफ करेक्टिंग द सेंटेंस फर्स्ट इज शी इज अ विच एंड सेकेंड इज He is a wizard. Both are correct. अगर आप he को use कर रहे हैं तो आपको which को change करके wizard करना होगा और अगर आप she लिख रहे हैं तो आपको she is a witch. He के साथ wizard आएगा she के साथ witch आएगा Because pronouns also change. When the gender changes, the pronoun also changes. Neuter के लिए हम it use करते हैं Masculine gender के लिए हम he, him यूज करते ही यूज करते हैं एंड फेमिन के लिए शी और हर यूज करते हैं ये आपको हमेशा बेटा याद रखना है सेकेंड ही रिस्पेक्टेड हर मदर सो ओवर यूर यू नीड टू सब्सिट्यूट हर विथ हिज ही रिस्पेक्टेड हिज मदर ही रिस्पेक्टेड हिज मदर क्योंकि ही के साथ हर नहीं लगेगा सो ही रिस्पेक्टेड हिज मदर third the heiress donated all his property for the war victims students heiress feminine gender hai so how can we use the pronoun his with heiress so for heiress we'll be using the word pronoun her so the heiress donated all her property for the war victims the heiress donated all her property for the war victims now fourth my aunt is a renowned headmaster now students this sentence again can be rectified in two ways first if you, either you can replace the word aunt with uncle my uncle is a renowned headmaster 
and if you want to keep the word headmaster then to you will write uncle over here but if you want to keep the word aunt over here then you will have to substitute the headmaster with headmistress my aunt is a renowned headmistress beta agar aap aunt ke sang sentence banayenge to aap headmistress use karenge aur agar aap uncle ke sath you uh, sentence banayenge to aap headmaster use karenge uncle can be a headmaster and aunt can be a headmistress but aunt cannot be a headmaster and uncle cannot be a headmistress ye english grammar ka rule hai to aunt ke sang aap headmistress use karenge aur uncle ke sang aap headmaster use karenge to aapke upar hai aap kaun sa word change karte ho entirely upon your choice dono sentence theek honge both the sentences will be correct if you say my aunt is a renowned headmistress or if you say my uncle is a renowned headmaster now students fifth the bull gives us milk the students bull can never give us milk so bull will be substituted with the word cow the cow gives us milk gai humko doodh deti hai hai na bull to humko doodh deta nahi hai so the cow gives us milk sixth he is my father's sister in law so सिस्टर इन लॉ बेटा द वर्ड सिस्टर इन लॉ इज यर तो हम उसके साथ हमेशा प्रोनाउन क्या यूज होगा शी तो शी इज माई फादर सिस्टर इन लॉ शी इज माई फादर सिस्टर इन लॉ ना स्टूडेंट्स द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस इज द फेमिन जेंडर ऑफ रैम इज फिली स्टूडेंट्स द फेमिन जेंडर ऑफ रैम इज E, the feminine gender of Ram is Eve. The feminine gender of Ram is not Philly; it is Eve. Ram, Eve, Ram, Eve. Now, eight one. The masculine gender of Hind is Stag. Drake is the masculine gender of Dog, isn't it? Drake, the feminine gender Duck is Duck. The masculine gender Drake is. तो यहाँ पे तो दे आर आस्किंग द मैस्कुल जेंडर ऑफ हाइन तो हाइन का मैस्कुल जेंडर क्या है बेटा हाइन स्टैग स्टैग हाइन हाइन स्टैग स्टैग हाइन नाउ नाइन्थ वन इज द गैंडर लेड एग्स स्टूडेंट मेल बर्ड्स नेवर लेग्स एग्स सो गैंडर इज स्ट्रॉन्ग द गूस लेड एग्स the goose laid eggs and i believe everybody has heard the story of the golden goose the goose that laid uh, golden eggs so the goose that laid golden eggs so the goose laid eggs now 10 the prince helped her made servants now student the pronoun her is there made servants is there so we cannot use the gender prince masculine gender cannot be used so the princess helped her maid servants the princess helped her maid servants the princess helped her maid servants so students please learn the pairs masculine and feminine gender pairs so that you understand the gender better Again, I am repeating, students. Gender is a term here used to differentiate between a male and female noun. And there are four types of gender. Masculine gender denotes all uh, male boys, men, and male animals. Feminine gender uh, denotes all the females, the girls, women. and female animals common gender is used for both male and female and generally referred to occupations whereas neuter gender is neither a male nor a female and it denotes all the non living things hope students genders are clear to you